All right, YouTubers, uh, this is Wartac again. Um, I brought a friend, Jayway, to do a little experiment. These are a few uh, rocks that I've been working on lately, and uh, I wanted to try something out. Uh, my pal Jayway has a Geiger counter, so we're going to just check these rocks for any uh, radiation. So, Jayway, if you could turn on the, the uh, Geiger counter for me. It's not actually a Geiger counter. What is it? It's a Ludlum Model 3 survey meter. Okay. And it's got a Geiger Mueller probe. Okay. And so what we're look if you can hear this, what we're listening to is background radiation. You're always gonna have some radiation just from the sun and natural sources. So why don't you check that first rock there? That is a, a, a piece of uh, Danish flint that I've been working. And uh, not much going on there. It it sounds like background. So uh, let's go to the next piece of rock. Now that's a green piece of uh, a chert from the Wahi area in Idaho. So that's uh, not much going on. So let's check out this uh, cool looking piece of glass that I, that I got. Whoa, so what are we, what are we looking at here? 3,300 counts per Three, minute? 300. Okay, so Jayway, what's what's background typically? Um, usually your background's 10 to 20 counts. Okay, so obviously that's a little higher. So what is this <laughs> stuff? I got this uh, glass from a buddy and uh, it gl it's an interesting, you know, bright colored glass but it's like what is going on well um i guess what we have here is uh what, what do you think we got here jayway probably a piece of uranium glass or something <laughs> oh boy okay so apparently we're getting a little radiation off of it now uh 300 counts per minute probably isn't that big a deal but if you don't have a geiger counter you know how could a person tell whether or not they have some of this cool uranium glass um, well, there's an easy way. There's, uh, and we're going to check out over here in the old garage. Um, if you have a black light, in this case we have a black light, and we'll see how well this works. Um, you can check your uranium glass, and sure enough, we have another piece here, and that sucker glows pretty bright green. So, if you've got a, a piece of slag glass that you're working, and under black light it glows really bright green, you probably have a piece of uranium glass. Yeah. So, um, Just like that old Fiesta wear. <laughs> exactly. So this is uh, interesting material to work. So what I would say on closing um, for this material is, actually that's, that's just too cool. Um, in terms of hazard, it's actually a fairly low count. But if you're working it, you want to be sure you have good ventilation, right? Because yeah. You know, it does, you know, the alphas that are coming off of this is, aren't that strong, and there's some ancillary gammas as well, but yeah. um, the reality is, is that you don't want to be breathing this just a, 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 as a general principle, but you don't really want to be breathing particles of any uh, any of these materials, yeah. right? That's for sure. So <laughs> anyway, that's uh, some of the interesting material that I'm working on these days, and if you see me down the street and I'm glowing a little bit, you know why, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, signing off.